data services variable by which it will automatically go and take but this is more related to uh, data quality so we are not worried at this point we will talk about them when we come to data quality but for now I wanted to set back the same path uh, and uh, and the file name was on sales are the underscore what was the file name sales underscore org dot txt yeah uh, see here it is able to uh, ping it when I make it local or job server it doesn't make any difference because both are the same here for me but when I pass dynamically my bad it is not working Mm, what could be the reason? I don't know actually. Let me save it and uh, go back into the data flow and explore whether there is any mistake here. Because whatever you give there, it comes up in the same way here. And the other option which I was telling you, when there is uh, the path doesn't change and when the file name changes, you can always put it here as underscore str it's a wild card so that if you have more than one files it will take all of them let us uh, try that out at least this option works i will be very happy <laughs> so that we can move forward so i'm going to copy the same file paste it here and uh, rename with the same number i i told you I mean I'm appending a date behind it that's all I did and now I will change the data in it just for us uh, for our understanding I'll make it as northeast and this one is southwest southeast and this one I will give 21 this one I give 22 this one I give 23. This is after okay, 23. So just for our understanding, is I'm changing very minimal things so that you understand that it can dynamically take these two files and load it as one file. So I'm going to rerun the job. Mm, yeah, first thing is I go into properties and take off the default path because it is going to take this default path when the uh, anyhow it won't take. Because we haven't given the global variable there, right? So I can I I can ignore that. So if I run now, the two files have to be loaded into the same. By the time I say it failed. Error pass passing the global variable. Did I give the global variable there? I did not give it, I changed it. Hmm. Okay, it could be this properties. Uh, let me go to it. But it is not relevant because I have taken out. I have already taken out the path uh, whichever I have put in, and I hard coded the values. Still, it was still there. Okay. Today, it's that kind of a bad luck when we try to do on. Ha. Huh. Same problem again. Something bad. Oh. 
okay when uh, things like this happen what we'll have to do is log off and log in back things should straighten up because uh, when when we do, uh, if you go to a network administrator and ask him to fix anything a few things doesn't work all he will do is restart uh, restart the server the same thing i'm doing i will have more than one way let me see if there is an email for me wow sayed you accepted my call after you joined the call <laughs> oh this is this for tomorrow no for today you accepted the call at 11 am which by the time you joined the call right so that's okay i was just kidding Okay, I came back and I see my job server is still running. Let me open the project and properties. Uh, I have to go and see. It looks good. I don't have anything overriding it. And the flat file format. Let me go and see. We are still good here. because it is showing me the data and i have the same uh path everything set the only thing i try to do is here i i try to put a star here right so here there is a star dot text but it should be okay if i remove the star dot text it was able to ping the data see it got the data so all i am trying to do is Okay, let me run without start dot text. First, make sure that the job server is working. If not, I will have to bounce the job server, restart it, then it should work. There is something wrong. The job server is uh, is not working. It seems. If it is job server is not working, it should actually throw an error saying job server is not working. But unfortunately, here it is saying I don't have permissions on this file. which is funny for me okay let me not struggle too much let me try for some other file are you okay with that i will try some other file guys so i will see now i will show you more options actually there is a problem with this data flow i wanted to skip this data flow i am going to show you something easy and important so that we skip this data flow but it will be still in my job so what i'm going to do here is i put a conditional the conditional i say uh run only if and in the conditional i am going to take a global variable and uh, pass it so that i can set it up whatever i want i don't remember the variable name okay let us say this is g underscore extract if g underscore extract is equal to 1 then run it else i am going to put a small file here a script here saying skip and here i will say print the data flow is intentionally skip this is just that we understand what we can do with the conditional guys so we are learning something we will know what is the something now so now i take this off because this was not working 
I am trying to use that scenario. I wanted to put it here. If it is working, I can say it skip or or I I can do whatever I want to do. But currently, what I did is run only if g extract is equal to one. It will run this. Else, it will skip. So dynamically, I can pass a value for that. Now, in this workflow, I wanted to put one more. Con Actually, that condition has to be outside. And this workflow has to be inside. But how I make that? Can I copy this? Okay. I don't know. I I can do this, but I'm trying to do this. Yeah, let it be like this. What I was doing, what it was earlier is right actually. Hmm. Let us not worry about too much. So I put it here. I all I am going to do is I go. I am going to rename it as sales underscore org underscore extract. So I am going to give one more. Okay. Let us make use of the same thing instead of skipping it, or I can also do this. I can put one more data flow here. We will run this data flow by using the conditional. Okay, zero zero one. It's the same job, so I will mark it as zero zero one underscore zero two underscore. Uh, let us take some other file. Let me go and see any other file name. I'm going to the same path. I will try with a different file and if it doesn't work, I will have to be more patience to fix it but nothing I can do. So we will say postal department, post and department. We have post and department, I will take this particular file, uh, post dept. Okay. Where is my comp? Yeah. Rename. Post DPT underscore. Something like that. Even post DPT is also fine. So I will do it like this and I will connect them sequentially. So in order to do that, I will have to define one more file, right? So uh, all I'll have to say is right click and say new. We are repeating the same thing what we did so far, guys. Uh, what was the file name? It's uh, no. We are giving a new file because that file was not working for us, right? So I'm trying to do it uh, with a different file. Yeah. Now I am trying to give the same path. Sometimes I we cannot give a reason why things are not working. It's just uh, we can say fate or grajar. <laughs> So I got that, but you see there are two extra columns here which are not good. But I am not worried about that now. Write row header. 